Hey, this is Tim Pierce. Here's a look at double stops and rhythm fills. Click the link below if you want to check out the five video series on this that's in the master class. Also click the link below if you want to check out the free videos, the soloing lessons, not on YouTube. We're starting on the 12th fret with the index finger, strings three and four. It's barred just on those two strings. We're going to strike it once and then we're going to slide the index finger up two frets to fret 14. And everything needs to sustain smoothly and evenly. Okay, then the next move is we're doing a similar thing on the next two strings over, that's strings two and three, but we have to change our fingers to allow for the interval shift. So we start here, just press down hard enough to make a nice pressure, but not too hard. The notes sound nicely, and then we jump over to strings two and three. Index finger is on string three, fret 12. Third finger is on <laughs> no, index fingers, yeah, index, third fingers on string two, fret 13. I did have it right. Okay, so then we slide that one up. Same manner. Fret 12, and then frets 12 and 13 with these two fingers. And then we strike it twice. And bring it back up. So there's a lot of going up and down on this second thing. I'll show you. And then end it in a staccato fashion by lifting up the two fingers and letting the strings underneath die out. So you lift up. I'm actually muting any harmonics over here from the low strings. And I'm muting these two strings by just lifting up my fingers and letting them rest gently on the strings above the frets. Really slow. Three, two, three, three, two, three, one. How about slower? One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And it's nice if you pick gently over on, because it, it, it gives it that kind of dynamic range. One thing that's nice is when you can pick a couple of notes louder for expression. It's exaggerated, but give that a try too. Now we move this whole thing down to fret seven. Once again, it starts on the same two strings with the index finger barred, uh, strings three and four, fret seven, and we do the same move. It's identical to what I did up here, but it starts on fret seven. And then this is the tricky move. Drop our hand back so that the third finger is on fret eight, string two, and the second finger is on fret seven, string one. Strike those two notes, bring your hand back to where it was, right here and slide down. So you're here and bring it back where your third finger is up here at fret 10, index finger, fret 9, and slide it down. And this is a tricky move to play fast. I can ask, truth is, I can actually barely, barely do it at speed with the drum. You know, if it's too hard for you, you can just do exactly the same thing I did up here. You could go like this. And just not do the scoop up at the end. That's just as good. But I really enjoy going for. And if I really concentrate, I can nail it. It also is easy for me to nail if I don't press down too hard. If I keep my hand really lightly pressed down as I do this, it's easier for me to execute that. So with any of this, you might find that you're pressing down too hard, and that actually impedes your ability to do this stuff. If, if The lighter the touch, the easier it is to do all this stuff. So then I come back up, and I repeat this same first phrase again. And then I come down here, where I am, and my hand is in this, in our, you know, very familiar A minor position, and I do double stops here. This starts on strings four and five, fret five, and I strike it with the index finger pressed down, and I hit the two notes that are a whole step above on those strings. Okay. So instead of sliding up like I've been doing, I just do it with my uh, third finger and little finger on fret seven. Okay, move over to the next two strings and do the same thing.
make sure everything's connected so there's lots of sustain and no gaps between any of the notes. Kind of don't want to. Although that's legit, this time around you're trying to connect everything. And then we do a hammer on where it's two notes here on the fifth fret, strings two and three, same thing, our index finger doing what it's been doing, just grabbing two notes in a bar. And we do a grace note that hammers up to the suspended note of the C chord. And then we pick those two notes and then we roll gently and we pick those two notes. So the roll is where you want to try and make things really smooth. It's actually not that hard to do. Just roll it over. And then I do a little bit of vibrato just to give it some English on the end. 